Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel. Today is day 35. It's been uh, one week, I think, since I uploaded the last video. Uh, today is Age of Shakespeare. We are uh, just carrying on this topic. Name of the topic is particularly drama we will be talking about. We will be making two, three more videos on uh, the same topic. And in this video, we will be focusing on the university bits. University Wits is a group of uh, writers or dramatists, you can say, or playwright, who were before Shakespeare and uh, they influenced Shakespeare. University Wits, who came from Oxford and uh, Cambridge, which was a particular group, they called University Wits, which I have written a shortcut here, P-G-K-L-M-N. So here is their name. You also have इन्फ्लुएंस जो उनका रहा है और डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ड्रामा जो कि आपका यूजीसी नेट सिलेबस में भी है उसके बारे में हम बात करेंगे सो आई एम जस्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम द मार्शल आर्ट प्रैक्टिस सो डोंट जज माय अटायर सो लेट्स कम टू द टॉपिक अगेन थ्री मेन कैरेक्टर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ क्लासिकल ड्रामा व्हाट आर द थ्री मेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ क्लासिकल ड्रामा टू अंडरस्टैंड ड्रामा वी नीड टू नो दीस थिंग्स First is uni unity of subject and of pure tragedy. If uh, they wanted to write down pure tragedy in classical drama, it must have unity of subject. Second thing is three uni unities. Whenever we are talking about classical dramas, we talk about three unities. Time, uh, unity of time, unity of place, unity of action. In this case, we will detailed uh, study detailed study. Literary criticism में कि ये unity of time, unity of place और unity of action होता क्या है। Next is little or no dramatic action. So these three particular characteristics we should know. There were two two types of theatres at the time of university wits you can say, or at the at the time of age of Shakespeare. So there were three two kinds of theatre. One was one was the private theater, second was the public theater. What was the main difference? It was, you know, open. Public theaters were open. Aap kaya sakte hai ki lower level ke theater hoote the. Open space tha. Daylight mein kaam chalana padta tha. Or all classes. Har tarah ke log waha par theater mein aate the. First type was of private theater, as you can see. And roof, us mein chhat hoote thi. Artificial light. इसका मतलब वहां पे रात को भी ड्रामा प्ले हो सकते थे एंड हाई क्लास ओनली हाई क्लास पीपल यूज टू गो देर लाइक किंग्स एंड नाइट्स एंड अदर्स ड्यू टू द पब्लिक थिएटर्स एंड ओपन थिएटर्स सॉलिड की एंड असाइड बोस वर इन्वेंटेड और नीडेड क्योंकि हमें ओपन थिएटर में हमारे पास कोई भी प्रॉप्स नहीं होते थे तो इस वजह से हमें सॉल्ड लिखी और असाइड की जरूरत पड़ती थी कि जैसे एक सिचुएशन में आपको बताऊं कि अगर हमें दिखाना है कि सी है समुद्र है तो हमारे पास उस तरह की कोई सीनरी नहीं होती थी हमें पर्टिकुलरली बताना पड़ेगा कि इस तरह की कोई सीनरी है रात हो रहा है दिन हो रहा है इस तरह से हमें सारी चीजें डिस्क्राइब करनी पड़ती थी पब्लिक थिएटर में राइट सो so, चलिए थिएटर और स्टेज की बात करें तो एक, एक डेट हमें याद रखनी है फिफ्टीन बिकॉज दिस वॉज द ईयर When first playhouse was erected, जो खड़ा किया गया पहला playhouse, it was the place Sordich. So Sordich, the pronunciation you can uh, find out. These were this was the first theater which which got erected. All right, in 1576, some important theaters were the theater, the Rose, the Globe, the Swan, and the Fortune. इसमें the Globe theater was related to Shakespeare as well. Gobbledyk was the first play which was written and uh, it was classical as we talked about here the characters of classical uh, tragedy and not not an insect will wrote the first tragedy Gobbledyk. Now let's talk about the university words which is most important and in this video or in this particular uh, place I am going to focus on uh, their main main thing which influenced Shakespeare and uh, you know the later generation of uh, playwrights and dramatists so let's un understand this their contribution in ka jo contribution tha aane wali generation ke liye dramatists ke liye playwrights ke, playwrights ke liye to unke liye kya unka important ek contribution tha uske bare mein baat karenge and later we will talk about 
they are important works and their dates and other things all right so let's go uh, ahead first is lily as you can say pgklmn here is shortcut so l lily and lily was the leader lily was the leader to is tarah se aap yaad rakh sakte hain l leader l lily blank words in comedy so he was the first person he used blank words in comedy and shape to romantic comedy and he gave shape to romantic comedy which you will later find in shakespeare as well and it was adopted by shakespeare we can say pile uh, first dramatic literary satire so he was the first person who wrote first dramatic literary satire it its name was the old wife's tale old wife's tale kya thi pehli dramatic literary satire thi romantic tragedy he was writing Sec third was robert green master of the plot construction so he was the first person who uh, was concerned about the plot construction and romantic heroines so here you can find out the examples of romantic heroines by uh, robert green and romantic heroines we can find in shakespeare later loss thomas loss the wounds of civil war nothing new to see it his contribution there was no new contribution uh, except like these three he didn't contribute it a lot so his main work was the wounds of civil war next is nash thomas nash a pamphleteer he was a pamphleteer so here you can say n nash marlo okay kid green and pile kid the spanish tragedy and a spanish tragedy is a landmark so we must go through the story of the spanish tragedy because this is important for uh, our english literature exams too so it was landmark why it was a landmark landmark in english literature it had well constructed plot revenge theme so it was the first time revenge theme came uh, into existence next was devices were used to play within play like in shakespeare we later found that in uh, hamlet as well hamlet mein bhi hame milta hai play within play and uh, here are nemo ye ek is tarah ka tragic hero tha jo ki quite different tha means hum yahan se ek separation yahan se hum ek separation feel kar sakte hain classical tragedy se isliye thomas kidd ka jo spanish tragedy hai is important mana jata hai ki isse pehle hum एक तरह से अगर हम इनका पूरा ही कंट्रीब्यूशन देखे यूनिवर्सिटी बिट्स का तो इन्होंने जो क्लासिकल एक ट्रेजिडी का जो प्लॉट होता था सीनरी होती थी और एक थीम होती थी उससे उन्होंने सेपरेशन की तरफ ले गए और कुछ नया इन्होंने किया तो दैट्स व्हाई दीज आर इम्पोर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड और इन्हीं के कई सारे ऐसे वर्क्स है जिनसे मोटिवेटेड होके इन्फ्लुएंस होके शेक्सपियर ने लिखा है मालो का जो टेम्पोलिन है इसकी पूरी स्टोरी आप मेरे चैनल पर देख सकते हैं समरीज इन हिंदी एंड इन इंग्लिश बोर्ड so here we have marlow uh blank verse he used for tragedy first time and uh, departure from the morality tradition agar aap tamburlin ki story dekhoge to tamburlin koi morally ka uh, uh, insaan nahi hai jisme morality hame dekhne ko nahi milti he just ambitious and other things agar aapko samajhna hai to puri story aap dekh sakte hain hindi aur english dono mein summary aapko mil jayegi all right to yahan pe hame jo main cheez jo marlow ka contribution tha wo kya tha departure from morality tradition so hope you this video will help you a lot so don't forget to share subscribe and you can join my broadcast list and uh, my whatsapp bye bye take care see you in next video